very deep on this one. Very yeah, I set two of them shallow, if you remember. A little more up yet. That's a little bigger. Well, he may be part of dinner. I was just going to say, I don't know if that was allowed. I'm reeling it in on this one. So. Yeah, but I baited it. Yeah, well, we'll see. Though. I set the depth and I set it out. Oh, he's all tangled. He's all tangled. His nose, his mouth. Is just like, we got some weight on him. Oh, yeah. He'd be a good eater. Run, little fella. Run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get the bath. Well, you want to sit on? You want to touch him? Huh? You want to touch him? You want to touch him? I don't want to be slimed. There. Good eating size. Sorry. I'm going to have some dinner tonight after all, boys. Uh, he had lassoed himself. Yeah. That gum camera. <laughs> Stay up. Let's see. There you go, boys. There's this one. This boy's going in the live well. We're going to cook him. Wife's going to cook him for me? No, she isn't. Going to sharpen this knife a little bit. That was really butchering that last one. Sharp knife really helps keep you from butchering it. This is not a good fillet knife. I don't even know where this one came from, honestly. Does not hold an edge good. I need to invest in one. If I clean very many, I'd invest in one of the electric ones. Find that bone. Cut right down through there and I cut into his belly. I didn't mean to do that. That's a bigger fish here. He's got more meat on him. bit of meat hanging on those ribs that's all right around there so I'm just gonna take that off set that to the side Once again, kind of hold down with my left hand and just pull the knife through with the right. Slow and steady wins the race on this for me. I've got some friends that eat a lot of fish that I know will just, man, they'll fly through their fish. I just can't do it. If I fly through it, I butcher it something terrible. There we go, got a little better there at the end. I got right down on the skin. I left a little dab of meat on it along the way, but that's all right. We've got a bunch of neighborhood stray cats. I'm gonna throw these out to cats and enjoy that tonight. Let these soak for a few hours here. There you go, that is a, a good looking filet right there. I'm gonna get one more on him.
Let's see if we can do a little better job of cleaning this one up. Yeah, there we go. We're starting off right on the skin. closer on that one cut it just a little bit there we go and rinse him off there she is not real pretty I got a little bit of that red meat there have to get some of that off that red meat, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cut that right there. That red meat is what makes some people say that catfish have a, a muddy flavor. Get some bite sized pieces there. There we go. I'm gonna go inside, and rinse these off real good, let them soak for a couple hours, and then we'll cook them up for supper tonight. Y'all stick around with us, hopefully, it'll be good. All right, guys, we are in the house. It is close to supper time. It's actually past supper time. We got too much going on today and running behind. I've got my hush puppy mix made up. I like uh, House of Altry hush puppy mix. Makes pretty good stuff. It says mix with onions. So chop up some onions in with that. I don't have any onions, so we're not chopping any onions in it. We're just mix using the mix. And that's fine, I'm not a huge onion fan. My wife's an onion eater. I've got the uh, oil going here in the skillet we're just going to drop a few of these in see if we can get them going using a cast iron skillet for this just i've got a uh, a cooker over here but since it's just me eating i didn't mix up much because the wife won't eat uh wild caught catfish all right guys I use uh, Andy's seasoning for my fish the orange bag that's the one I like there's lots of different ones out there for whatever y'all like I just put it in a bowl and just mix it around here Get a good coating on it. I have added a little extra pepper, a little extra salt to these just to suit my taste. And I cut these all into bite sized bits. All right, guys, there we have it. Hush puppies, fresh caught fish. Whew. She's still hot. Got a little ketchup, a little bit of tartar sauce. Ooh, that fish, I'm gonna let that sit just a minute. That is hot. Hush puppies are pretty doggone good. All right, let's try the fish. Mm. That's good stuff. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. I'm gonna kick back on the couch here, eat my food, and watch some TV. Y'all have a good evening.